As we've mentioned, the very first team to make it into the top 12 is Team Nimble. Uh, so Team Nimble, uh, please introduce yourself. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, we are Team Nimble. Uh, we're made up of Tilha Patelia, who is 15 years old and in grade 10. And he's self-taught in a range of uh, coding. And uh, myself, I'm Adila and I am his mother. I have no IT background. Can we go into the presentation already? Yeah, so awesome stuff. Okay. Um, okay, so um, what happened is during COVID-19 lockdown, Tilha was called upon by the 3D printing community to assist uh, to print uh, face shields, as you can see in the pictures here. And at the time we realized that there was a dire short of PE, shortage of PPE. Um, and the challenge that we were faced with was that a lot of the communication was happening on WhatsApp and on um, email. And there was just so much confusion with regards to these two uh, platforms that uh, Tilha then decided that the best way to solve this would be through an app. Um, and at the same time, we've had a lot of um, corruption um, in governments worldwide uh, with regards to PPE tender. And this app, we hope, will be able to uh, maybe reduce some of that. So, hello everyone, it's Tilha. Uh, so the way we're going to solve this situation is by um, creating a system where we have listings of people that need certain products and people that have certain products. And from there, we're going to uh, start canceling, canceling them out like an equation. And we want to reach the point of zero. So um, we're going to start uh, listing all of these uh, things and uh, all of these products. And the way we authenticate these people to list the, these products, we use the uh, CST. So that's um, uh, that, uh, that, that's a central uh, supplier database, and that allows us to uh, know that these people are authenticated to uh, the authenticated businesses, but uh, businesses, so they can sell and supply uh, stuff like PPE, what is needed. Um, we must also focus that it's not only PPE; that this is a white label and can be planted on pretty much anything. It's that need and want what we're trying to uh, bring into this thing. Um, so for marketing opportunities. Uh, the marketing opportunities, we look at our NGOs and welfares, which were um, exactly the kind of uh, organizations that were looking for PPE during the lockdown. Uh, private procurement, so that would also be for PPE or also um, organizations like MTN, for example, who are looking at um, a big project or something like that, where they need um, other departments within the organization to supply services. So um, if you're doing a, a project and you need IT services, HR services, etc. Um, all these people can get onto the app and then share the services without having to email each other or WhatsApp each other. So there's just a, an easier flow of, of um, supply and demand. Um, government RFQs and disaster, which is what we had um, with the with COVID-19, but also um, when we have uh, massive storms in South Africa and um, you get a whole lot of uh, like un, um, informal settlements washing away and we, we need things like blankets and food and that kind of thing for the people. Okay, so um, the system that we set in place for the um, uh, for the uh, for this hackathon is uh, just a, a small MVP that we set up. So it has a login page that works with a contactables API uh, a sign up page, and that will register the the business and the end users uh, based on their identification, so their ID, and that will verify that they are part of the country. Uh, from there, it will uh, send all that information to a secure database. We are looking into uh, Huawei's database, and we will. Uh, hopefully be looking into that in the future and then uh, from there maybe using our own database if we get that big. Um, then uh, products will be listed uh, be, be either need or have and from there we're going to an integration phase and store into our inventory and we'll, and we'll automatically start matching it up. So if you put a need it will automatically have people saying it, giving you stuff that are haves um, and then from there going to order and then through payment we obviously chose a very secure payment uh, portal what is MTN's Momo uh, pay payment system and um, 
after they pay after they have done payment and uh, they can write comments and uh, reviews on certain products so that will help the system to know what is the best product out there and how can it list it for the for users creating a um, a, a competition for users and their products um, so uh, this is our application we um, this is building on uh, verification and we really want to push verification out there because that's the solution here we don't want to have more corruption in the country that we have been having with money fraud and uh, misuse of uh, uh, funds and uh, materials that should have been go going to the right place um, so these are the apis we use we uh, really want to thank tata for the amazing help that they have provided they uh, uh we using their uh chatbot to allow us to communicate with all of our users and from here we can start uh, training um, um, machine learning algorithms so it can uh, start answering questions based on various types of products contactables obviously for the verification and mtn momo for the amazing um, uh, uh, security um, um, payment, payment portal, portal. Um, so uh, we're just going to do a small presentation on how the uh, application works and where we have got in this week. It's a, just a simple MVP that we have. So, um, just getting my... Uh, Um, can you see this screen or is it another screen? Oh no, it's another screen showing. Uh, let's just, uh, sorry. Just trying to get the right screen here. Um, there's it. Okay, so uh, this is our, uh, our MVP. It's uh, just a simple uh, we have a simple page set up here and then we can log in into a, a person's uh, account. Okay. Um, hi, uh, time is up. Um, gonna start with the four minutes from the judges. And the judges have, uh, uh, um, uh, they can allow you guys to continue on, 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 on that. So judges, do you allow them to continue demoing or you wanna ask questions? I think let's allow them two minutes and then yes. uh, we can keep the remaining two minutes for a couple of questions. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so from here it's logging in, but what will usually happen is that you would have went to a sign-up page and then you would have put in your uh, system to uh, your ID number and then it will verify you from there. So uh, we have a simple page here where we can add products about us. So if we go to the add products page, we'll just have, we we'll want to keep it as sleek as possible, like very, um, not, when you look at government pages around there, they usually have a lot of, um, information and you don't know what to do so we try to keep, keep it very simple and very uh the style very neat so uh, even if we go to our about a page it's just telling us what we're going to do with our cart we're going to uh future we're going to add um for our checkout um mt and momo and um we have obviously our tata chatbot here so if we put in um and we would say hi then Oh, sorry. Um, hi. It will give us uh, answers based on our stuff. We can see previous stuff on what we have done, and uh, w the, that's what we mostly went for. And for our future, we want to add in bidding systems, voting systems, and uh, add better courier systems. So we really want to focus on security here, and we want to push for that because we are really against this whole corruption thing, and we want to create a solution for all of this. Um, also, with regards to uh, making a profit, um, which is something which we thought you would ask about, we were um, thinking of uh, putting on advertisements uh, to make some sort of uh, profit and also to take a, a very small percentage from the sales. Yeah. Okay, so do you have any questions for us? Sorry, question from Pinda. Yes. 
Um, in terms of security, I, I didn't catch, uh, did you say you'd be using some of the tools that were provided to you? Uh, so for security, we're going to, we we used Contactables API for, uh, for identification of the user and uh, for uh, security of what products can be sold and what products can't. We have the system of voting and we're hoping that that will uh, create uh, showing different companies that are bad companies per se and uh, companies that actually produce products and from there the system should learn on what is bad and what is good and also from the C uh, CST the central um, central central supply database we can get a broad understanding of who is supplying what in in a country okay thank you Question from Giovanni. Obviously, the, the, the push to, to adopt the solution is uh, definitely very, very important. So what is the factor that you want to leverage to, to adopt this solution? So um, for this solution here, uh, what makes it better than other solutions out there at the moment is that we this is not uh, only a system that will work on products like uh, like most other solutions out there we want this to work with services and all different types of stuff and also with files so if you look into law we want to um, just say a person has a uh, files on law and they can actually uh, allow people to edit it for them and the system would find keywords inside there and try to automatically uh, edit the file for the user or for, for, for the people on here and uh, give them an output. So we're trying to create a system where any sort of um, business can happen. I know it's very broad and uh, but we're trying to get there through uh, different types of solutions such as machine learning and artificial intelligence. Yeah. Uh, the time. There was a time. Uh, thank you uh, for presenting and thank you for the judges too. Uh, all the best uh, to you guys.